The channel design program can still exist and can be used to go ahead and create plan lines over its channel where we have the center line, the left toe, and the right toe information. So I'm going to go to channel design. Oops, sorry. Already got it open here. And I'm going to go ahead and just load a plan file just to save me a little bit of time. And then we'll explain it. So I'm going to open a plan. This is just simple channel. All right, if we take a look, what I've done is I have the center line information. Let me just zoom extents over here. It's just a very simple channel. Uh, with the depth, it's a 12 meter channel. And then I have the chainage. And the chainage is just the physical distance right, starting at some origin point. And lines are going to get a name based on their distance along the channel. For the left toe, I have the X and Ys, and then the side slope ratio. And you can just enter three for three to one, or four for the four to one, whatever you think is, uh, is appropriate. The right toe, the same information. In this case, I don't have a left or right turning basin. Under the general parameter, how high to bring my channel right to the top of bank, zero is the chart datum. I could extend my lines left and right a horizontal distance. The line spacing, a naming format, and then down here are some options to create additional lines. I'm going to go ahead and generate the channel. And now you see I have all my plan lines. Each plan line has its design. Down below here in the 3D view, it's not very uh, exciting. Page up will exaggerate the vertical one way and page down the other. So I can use the arrow keys and move that around and take a look at it. Let's make sure I'm satisfied. When I am, I can go ahead and save that right to a plan line file. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name here, simple channel. Over right, yes. I could also save the information in the tables and all these spreadsheets right, to a high pack plan file, save to plan. There's an option also to go ahead and create a 3D channel out of this, but it's better to do that directly in channel design. If we go ahead and close our channel design now, I have my plan line should show up down here. Uh, simple channel is what I call them. If we open them up in the line editor, all right, each one will have its template information that we can then use when we do our volume calculations.